Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Evil Within. Had to think for a minute what game we were bloody playing. I was going to say Resident Evil. Uh, when we last left off, we uh, were with our friend Joseph. Um, Joseph, well, Joseph's not feeling too well, but he's he's kind of hanging on in there. Uh, we've just had a nice little walk through a... Wait a minute, did we get everything back here? We've had a nice little walk through a marketplace with nobody there, but, you know, it was nice and serene. We had a good time. We found some keys. So, uh, let's continue. Ah, right. So, we've got some bullets. What gear have we got? Okay. So, thank you. Because we're going to need bullets. I mean, we always need bullets. Oh, dear. We're actually running the old... Uh, the old stores out here. Um, yeah, not too fantastic, actually. What do we like for health? All right, let's have a dose. There we go. Just so we're not on, like, dead red health. Because that would probably be bad. I mean, generally, when you're going into a hostile situation and you're not exactly in tip-top happy shape, you're going to have a bad time. So... Hopefully, Sab, with his little handful of bullets, isn't going to have a bad time. Joseph, you still here, brother? Yep, he's still here. Chilling, maxing, relaxing. Let me just sort my keyboard out here. Shouldn't be. Uh, my tablet's falling over. Because, of course it is. I have too many keyboards on this desk. There we go. Cool. Alright, now we have some mouse space as well, which is generally a good idea. Uh, you all good? Let's go. Now, with any luck, two giant monsters aren't about to turn up. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. Yeah, you go have a little look up there, brother. I'm gonna hopefully not... Ooh. You alright? Yeah. I was going to say, the way that um, ladder was flexing was actually quite cool. Kidman. What are you hey, doing? It's Kidman. Who's that she's with? Leslie, obviously. What I found. Seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. You're a good man, Joseph. Oh. Well. I guess we're not going to be going back that way anytime soon. No? Okay. Ooh. Oh, hello, sir. Didn't see you there. That was unfortunate. Right, uh, let's get... Ah, rifle. Right. Hey, Joseph, remember you said you was going to be, like, covering us? Yeah. How about, you know, actually covering us? No? All right. I'll do this. It'd be really awkward if you were doing what you said you would. Oh, I love that rifle. Oh, I love it. All right, well. Let's take a very slow... Ooh. Intriguing. Oh, well, this is bad. Hey, Joseph, remember the thing you said about the rifle and the shooting and the killing of enemies? Good lad. Joseph. Come on. I don't know what you're shooting at, Joseph. Uh, that's interesting that they're actually going for him, though. Does that mean we can have a little sneaky sneak? Stab this guy in the top of the bonds. Oh, oh, oh! We can. What a dum dum. What an absolute dum dum. Still, I'm not complaining. For once, this sack of oh, giant sack of meat in this. Slurry. Hmm. 
Yum, yum. I know what kind of dreams you have. Sebastian, but they're pretty questionable. Got some dark thoughts up in that head of yours, sir. Be dreaming up this kind of nightmare. Nightmare fuel. Ooh. Shotgun shells. Oh, we are full. Alright. I thought we were missing one. Still? Okay. Don't you touch that. Oh! Hi, friend. Yes. Well, isn't this a little bit awkward, huh? Yeah. I'd say somewhat awkward. Right. So, oh, that did not have the required effect at all, did it? This is definitely getting worse Oof, before it gets better. Right. Can I run past you? Kind of, I guess. Ooh. He's lost some of his face. Not even mad about that. You can. Certainly trying to finish him off. Come on, you big. Ooh. Ooh, that tickled me. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, there's another one, isn't there? Yes. This one gets a bit more of a wiggle on. That's awkward. Yeah, these guys aren't super durable. But they're bad enough. That didn't work very well, did it? Run! Right, he's deaf, I believe. But, yeah, it doesn't matter too much to us, sadly. We're going to die. Because we can't escape. Yep. Possibly going to die. Oh, he's... Yep, pretty, pretty teasy about that. Right, don't really want to waste this, but... Alright, we definitely wasted that. Come on, dude. Come on. See if we can't open that melon of yours up. Okay. Alright. That was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'll look for another route. Let's meet up by the horse statue there. I mean, if you want to be technical, we've used pretty much everything we had. Uh, so, you know, I mean, that's bad. But, uh, it's not, you know. Let's not be too hard on ourselves here. We shot a couple of big men in the face. Wait, there was shotgun shells there. Wait, did we pick them? We, we may have picked them up. I can't remember. Yeah, those two large lads. Um, I thought that was going to be pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if there's any goodies stacked. Uh, nope. Let's not get too close to you because I don't want to be pulled into the next section. Uh... We need some ammo. Yep. Yep. We got no health. I guess we have to go talk to him. Alright. We can do that. Uh, wait, there was a document, wasn't there? Ooh. Hello. I guess there is some stuff. Dotted around here. Alright. Anything else? Uh, that was the document. The document by him. We saw it in a flash. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I am absolutely... Come, I have come down with a touch of the tards. Right, cool. I thought I saw that. Graveyard note. Wait, I've gone to get Donna back. I saw how to get into the wolf's den, and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. 
I'll bring her back. Daniel. Well, I'm guessing There's Daniel something didn't. about a horse in that house back there. Let me see what I wrote. You break it, Slade. I guess so. Oh, oh that's going to take us back to the happy place. We good? I think we're good. All right. So the map fragment. Now, if I remember correctly, the map fragment unlocks weapons, but I believe it unlocks weapons for the next playthrough. So I kind of not actually that. Oh, we wait. We don't have a key. But it's telling me I can open something. But we don't have a key. So how can we open something? We don't have a key. So you need the key to open the thing. Maybe I'm just dumb. Anyway, um, yeah, so the map fragments open up a uh, uh, some secret weapons that we can't use. So we're not going to worry too much about that. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Um, oh, there's nothing on her desk. All right, whatever. Let's just get out of here for now. We do need to find some more keys, though. All right, what could possibly be through this mirror to the next nightmarish veil? Are you all right? You don't need to worry about me. Are you sure about that? I guess this area is actually joined on to the last one. Okay, right. I do vaguely remember this area. Vaguely remember there's keys. Somewhere. There's an awful lot of blood coming out of that bag, which is curious. Go right there, sir. Have some of that. Settle down in there. I mean, honestly. Yeah, isn't there like a key attached to one of these? Somewhere. What do you reckon, Joe? You reckon there's one tucked away? Or are we wasting our time? Um... There definitely is a key on one of these bags. I mean, it might not be a bag here. Alright, let's move on. You know, if we miss keys, we miss keys, but it'd be nice to get them all, because I think we're going to need them all. How are you doing? Ooh. Alright, oh, hang on. Hang on, just a cotton picking minute. Checkpoint. Alright. Cool. Uh right, let's go loot these crates. Hopefully find something somewhat useful. You know what I'd really like? I would like a syringe. Alright, cool. Nice. Can't grab it. All this stuff that we can't grab. Syringe. I mean, you know, I suppose some spare parts. Right, anyway, I remember something about. Ah! Knew it. Thank you. Bloody knew it. They move incredibly slowly. Alright. Um, now. What do you make of this writing? Doesn't mean anything to me. Should it? Now hold on a second. I jotted something down earlier. You did? It's 
seems the sacrifices need to be lowered onto the proper altars, and the safe way to him will be open. Right. So... Okay. Now, do I remember this? So, three, five, nine, seven. Okay. Um... Ah. How do we get the... I'm pretty sure... Right, this might go very badly wrong. Don't we have to get bodies on three, nine, and five? Isn't that how it is? Uh, right. Let's have a fiddle. Five. Yeah, so five, three, nine. Need bodies. Got you. So five, three, um, and nine. But seven. We don't want a body on seven. I think that's kind of how that works. It's been a while, guys. I'm just saying. It's, it's been a little while. It's been a hot minute since we played this. Um, Alright, dude. It's all good. It's all fine. You've kind of just like... I heard something. Yeah, me too. Now, the question is... Did we hear something good? Here goes every everything. I guess that was it. Are we sure that was correct? The fuck was that? What in the Bioshock? Alright, cool. That's fine. Probably not going to be that horrific in there. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. I wouldn't mind some more hang on bullets. Looks like it's time to move on. Alright. Very quiet. This looks too quiet. Still no goodies. Alright, and I don't think there's any keys or anything around. I don't know, Joe. It's been a while since we've been here. Um a number of years in fact. A lab. Oh. Oh yeah. I remember that. That is a hell of a spine. I mean, seriously. That brain? I mean, would that brain even fit in a skull? This is really cool stuff. Proper, like, body horror. This is the sort of stuff that I was hoping we were going to kind of get in Scorn. Ooh, lovely. Scorn had a, a lot of... <sighs> a lot of interest in the beginning and then it just it just didn't do anything with it. It's a shame. I mean that thing kinda looked alive and to be fair, that brain and that spine probably would fit in that. Just, you know, not a human body. So cemetery lab note one. Can we actually scroll? We can. Uh, 
It had to have been God's will that these two orphans survived. They were baptized and given medicine. Nyon and his brother Zen quickly recovered, but just as, as quickly did their aberration progress. Of course they are twins, but for some reason their growth patterns exhibit identical values. Twelve hours after serum administered. Okay. Nyon and Zen. Yep. Same. Body temperature elevation, pain in lower extremities is evident. 24 hours after, okay, so they are growing. Vital signs stabilized, sleeping in short intervals. 36 hours after, wow, yeah, they've, they've been packing it on. Semi-conscious, speaking to imaginary person. 48 hours after serum, agitated, administering sedatives. So I'm guessing that's supposed to be the two giants that we fought earlier. All right, well, can't talk to an imaginary, imaginary person, I guess, if, uh, if you cover his eyes over, eh? Only one of them had their eyes covered over there. Ooh, oh, oh dear. Oh, I do remember that. Oh, I do. Oh, hello. Cemetery Lab Note 2. Every month, offerings are brought above ground to the stone sarcophaguses. The owner calls the altar two bodies, four bodies, Three bodies, five bodies, four bodies, seven bodies, six bodies. The church guard dog has begun to change just like the twins. The aberration is progressing. It devoured six bodies today. It already, uh, already it howls for more. It has begun to stress its bars and chains in its fervor. I don't dare take my eyes away from that animal. It may think I am another offering. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Yeah, this this I don't know what what they're injecting these things with, but um yeah, maybe maybe stop, you know. I mean, it's all wrapped up in barbed wire and Oh, look at it. It's got extra eyes. It's like a G mutant. I mean, its original eye is dead. And it has an extra improved one. That eye looks alright. Good lord. Well, no matter. I'm not going to sit here and worry too much about the poor old mucked. Ah. What do you reckon, Joseph? Taking him home? Pulling him fu- Ooh, right. Yeah, you you go ahead. I will wait and hopefully not die and get my asshole eaten by a dog. Oh, okay. Alright. That worked. Ooh. That did rather... Sound like a dog escaping. Or at least the dog getting rather angry at its uh, situation. Which, you know, you can't blame the poor thing. Can you get it open? Okay. Hey, pooch. This is gonna get worse before it gets better. Yeah. Oh! I see you have an extra mouth in your neck. That's cute. Right. Well. What do we have? Oh, hello. I guess. There's not a huge amount we can do with this pooch. 
apart from use liberal amounts of explosives and hope for the best. Oh god. Alright, that stuns it, I guess. Not for long. Not even for long enough. Okay, that was close. Okay, gun is empty. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've learned something here today, guys. We need... Oh, good. It, it just... Um, right. Throws us in here. I see. Don't really know what happened with that. Here he comes. Come on, Pooch. Come on. There you go. Well, I guess they're not actually as useful as I thought they would be. I mean, admittedly, they stick somewhat well, I guess. Don't think that does much. Nope. This is going to be a challenge because we don't really have an option to heal. But that's all right. That's okay. Take advantage of the terrain when outnumbered. Aye. Aye, that is wise advice. Allow me to get the pea shooter out. Uh oh. The... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if the I don't think there's any kind of dodge roll, is there? You can't... Or can you dodge roll? Pretty sure you can't. So, crossbow, I guess it is. Not a fan of the explosive bolts. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Don't know how to avoid it. Just going to have to... Okay, you know, there's always the, the opportunity to blow ourselves up, you know, which apparently works quite well. Who would have known? Um, yeah, we're just going to start with a handgun equipped every single time, aren't we? Right, okay, run kind of towards it, I think, is the rub. No? No, definitely, definitely not run towards it. That's, uh, that seems unwise. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be something. I mean... That missed. I think that hit, that did. Maybe these explosive bolts, there might be something to these, you know? That's what, that's the rub right there. Explosive bolts. Um, can we change back to explosive ones? Yes, we can. Woo! Hi! Hello! Nice to meet you. Can we can we use a health kit, please? Maybe if we're lucky. Just. Oh, missed. Yeah, he's just gonna run us down. Okay. So, how do you fight? something that you can't avoid. <laughs> That's going to be the secret. Jesus. This is going to be... This is going to be rough. Just because we don't have anything to fight him with. Yeah, and that obviously at long range is pointless. I think we hit it. Not entirely sure. Okay. That's slightly awkward. 
Alright, that actually paralyzed it. Which is good to know. Okay, apparently that just straight up missed. Because, sure, I suppose. That does nothing. That just upsets it. Which I can understand. Alright. Uh, kind of... Yeah, using some help for that. Alright, that worked. Did it? No, not really. We can't rely on the fact... Oof. That we can just run away from it. Because, you know, we can't just run away from it. What we got left? Nothing, really. Okay. Alright, we're not having a good time here, are we? Ooh! Ooh! Good lord. Oh. Right, what we can potentially do here now is produce a load of ammo. Let's make some... F oh, that's not what we wanted. Right, freeze bolts. Uh, how do you produce... Control, that was it. Try and remember how to make these things. So, oh, Joseph, hey, eh? what happened? Was it dying? Oh, I remember this bit. What is it? I dropped my glasses back there. Fuck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't need your glasses that much. Uh, right, so we've got a checkpoint. Can we also potentially have some items? Well, I mean, we can sit here and wait for our health to come back. <laughs> so, you know, there's that, I guess. Um, shit. Okay. The freeze bolt there, which is probably not a terrible shout. Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to see Mr. Tickles. Can we grab the shotgun shells? Thank you. Um. Alright, that worked. Load up. No, the other weapon. I'll draw it away so you can search. Yeah, you you do that, dude. Oh, hello. Hi, Fido. Can we load the shotgun up, please? Thank you. Okay. Maybe. Ooh. Run! <laughs> Run! There we go. I think you can actually kill it. Oh, oh yeah, okay, I'm still controlling Sav. Of course I am. <sighs> it's not just about being unable to see. It's about feeling normal. It's all right. Let's focus on finding Kidman. Yes, uh, I understand, Joseph. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We just risk getting torn limb from limb by this big, giant, ugly mofo. It's all good. Don't worry about it. As long as you look good and you feel better about yourself. Now, don't worry about me. This isn't Jeez, about me. Joseph, all that for a pair of glasses. Yep. I know what I'm thinking. Okay. Whew. Now, obviously, you can actually stay there and fight him and kill him. But, you know, with the equipment that we have, it's not an option, really. Uh, and we did waste a hell of a lot of material by producing all those bolts. But, I guess they're going to get used eventually. Alright. 
Come on, Joe. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, right. There we go. So. That was something now, wasn't it? <laughs> the dog. Yes. Um, <laughs> kind of wish we could have stayed back there and killed it, but you don't actually... I think you just get a big pile of brain gel for killing it. So it's not really worth it. However, um, I think I, we did all right. <laughs> a lot of deaths. Um, but, you know, we learned a thing or two. We learned that this boss is a bastard, basically. You know, if you want to boil it down to exactly what we learned, we learned that that boss is a bastard. Especially when you've literally got a pocket full of shotgun shells. And when I say a, a, a pocket full of shotgun shells, it's a pretty small pocket be fair you know pocket that could you know only hold three so you know but we made it we survived so thank you very much everybody for watching and as always till next time